Good morning, guys. So I was sitting outside, meditating. The mosquitoes started eating me up. And one of my friends had tapped into this energy, which I said I probably was not going to do. But then something she told me, I was like, ooh, let me go see. So when I first asked Spirit if I should share this reading, they said no. But then I asked my own guides and ancestors, and they said yes. So I'm figuring um, maybe Tim's guides didn't want it shared. But uh, when I asked my people, they was like yes. <laughs> twice so um we're gonna take a look and see what happened with uh the situation with jimmy j from sheldon timothy harrington's perspective i'm sure most readers won't touch this but uh remember until these things are proven in a court of law these are allegations, okay? Well, for y'all, I trust what I see. <laughs> but, you know, let me just say that anyway. So, um, and yeah, I just woke up. It's like five something in the morning. So if I sound like somebody's boyfriend, <laughs> that might be why. Let me say my prayer really quick. Mm. If, you, if you didn't see that, that says sexual union. You were trying too hard. Let go of resentment. Because these emotions cloud your perception and your vision. So 
choices made. Okay. So at the heart of the reading, we have this Six of Swords energy. Someone is wanting to mingle. They are happy when they are either in a certain situation or with someone. So... The justice card, clarifying justice, justice, mm -hmm. justice is an energy of wanting to speak your truth, wanting to live your truth, oh child, yes, okay, so we have a king of pentacles and the emperor, who's this emperor? The emperor is often someone who's a father figure, someone who's taking charge of a situation. Okay. So that's being clarified as a young person, maybe that you have taken a break from here. Uh, the king of pentacles is likely Timothy Sheldon, clarifying king. He may have been in a relationship with this Queen of Pentacles. Clarify the three of three coins. Or he may have been considering a connection with someone who was in this feminine energy. But there's an energy of sneak sneakiness behind that connection. Emotional manipulation, deception, like it's not going anywhere. So I don't know if he was in a feminine a relationship with a feminine, which I believe is quite the truth. Clarify this, Five of Swords. He was trying to work on something, a uh, home life, perhaps just an image, but he was needing to choose between that or this other connection here, this friends with benefits may have been some payment involved there that he was on a break from. Okay. Page of Cups is often my um, friends with benefits card. So I feel like they had been out in, a, in an energy of separation with that Four of Swords showing up. But then the Ten of Swords comes out, so there's a desire to perhaps end that situation, end that separation. Okay, so I'm feeling like he's choosing between, do I stick to my image, this relationship? Or do I go for what I really desire? There may have been an ending with the fe the relationship with the feminine. So there's forward movement. Anxiety. I'm wanting to start something new with Jay. Mm-hmm. Okay. So we have two men here. And the lover's card. Okay. With the sun card here. This is someone that Timothy was happy about. Or this can also be something that came to light around this uh, same-sex relationship. Clarify the sun card.
Okay. So he was definitely in a place of confusion, kind of going back and forth. Maybe juggling two or living living two different lives. But I feel like there were boundaries around his family. Father in particular would never. Okay, someone may have been. Hold on just a minute. Kind of wanting to force a relationship, force a connection here. I say someone. We talking about Tim, okay? Why do I say that? Also because, and they were just trying to wait to see how things played out. Also because this Three of Wands is my single and ready to mingle card. This is my new passionate relationship, new penis card, okay? So this, also, this Three of Wands can be a threesome kind of energy. There's definitely some deception, something that's hidden, secrecy, sneaky link energy, okay? This is lust, this is passion, this is the ultimate temptation, right? Something that you feel drawn to, pulled to, attached to that you can't really get away from. Okay, or you feel like you can anyway. Uh, spirit clarifying this three of wands. Yeah, so this is someone who wants to pursue a connection here. So let me tell you this based on uh, the previous reading, either there was a goosey's. Either there was a third party there, or this third party, I feel like, could have been Tim being two different people. His feminine side and his more masculine side. Or there could have been someone actually there. I think in porn, they call it a cuckold. That's when somebody kind of want, want to watch you be intimate, okay? And I would like to say that it doesn't happen, but trust me, it absolutely does. All right. Yeah. Clarifying the King of Wands. There may have been someone else there. Okay. Okay, so Jay, I feel like Jay may be coming up as the Queen of Pentacles. Clarify the Queen. Yeah, boy. Okay, so someone tried to leave this situation. They tapped into their confidence, tried to leave because there was a clash of egos, clash, clash of energy here. And someone was trying to um, like reestablish this connection. And someone tried to walk away, which may have affected the ego. And there was a pursuit. Okay. Like, yeah, you're not walking away. There's a pursuit of this feminine energy because somebody wanted what they wanted. Okay. Mm. And I feel like this disagreement led to things going awry, going wrong, okay? So while this Six of Swords is moving into the next phase of life, wanting to pursue your peace, something's keeping you from doing that is that Five of Swords energy. Five of Swords could be jealousy, could be envy, it could be bruised ego, it could be wanting to win no matter what, right? Wanting to 
get your way, no matter who or what it affects. It's an energy definitely can leave whoever is involved like, okay, I won, but it cost me something, right? So you could have either isolated others in this relationship or, um, yeah, because you wanted to, wanted to be right or you wanted to win so badly. It's just an energy of manipulation, plotting, okay? Clarify this five of swords. It can also be like petty gossip. So let me see. Okay. So someone was looking at this relationship in a different way. Yeah, they were not on the same page. Like, um, I feel like y'all, this is Timothy. I feel like Jay was trying to keep it light. Something was either said or done that Timothy took offense to. And it created this energy of confrontation, of conflict here. Okay. And somebody wanted justice or was like, no, nah, let me fix this situation. Yeah, and that confrontation led to someone trying to be tamed or controlled, but it's an energy of secrecy, okay? It's an energy of secrecy. So here we have that nine of, one, uh, nine of swords energy. It's energy of stress and overthinking, overanalyzing. Um, if you've watched Jay's reading, um, I forgot what I was going to say, so I must not have needed to say that. So someone's stressing out here. King of Pentacles energy. And they're wanting this romantic relationship. They're open to this partnership. But they want to keep it hidden or a secret. Remember we kept saying, we kept saying, I kept saying, um, there's a feminine here. There's someone watching. There's lurking. I feel like this is um, someone subconscious. Okay. Who is open and receptive to the relationship. But at the same time, th doesn't want to be out in the open with it. Very insecure. Okay. So definitely two people that are not on the same page. Someone trying to, or someone feels like the situ situation is being forced, right? Definitely expressions of Deep love, though. Hmm. Either offering payment or just to give this connection their energy.
Okay. But then we have the Ego Clash. That King of Wands energy. King of Wands, definitely someone who's confident. Or they appear that way. But in a relationship, it can definitely be um, a conflict of the egos, right? You want what you want, and I, would, I want what I want. So here we are, not able to meet in the middle. Might be getting into it. Passionate confrontation kind of energy. Clarify this king of wands, please, spirit. Yeah, this definitely was a reconciliation here. A passionate, re well, the eyes of the emperor, whoever's taking charge in this situation. This was a physical hookup. This was a reconciliation. But they may not have been on the same page with this chariot card energy. If you look at the chariot, what's pulling the chariot, the two sphinxes, um, I often point this out. Not only are they not ready to move forward because they're both sitting down, but they are facing different directions. You won't be able to go forward in this connection if we're not on the same page. Okay? So with that four of coins, there's an energy of uncertainty of insecurity here and this three of cups lets me know that there may have been either a third party or one too many people clarify this three of cups I should have analyzed my dream last night Definitely could have been a feminine present. Yeah. I keep seeing that. I'll find that 10 of wands. clarity around a situation somebody saying yeah maybe we shouldn't do this then definitely judgment and boundaries being set here so let me tell you this could have been someone lurking watching a third party um, wanting to see Timothy and Jay engage, but I feel like Jay either was not with it or wanted payment, and Timothy was like, this is deeper than payment. Like, we are better than payment. Almost the energy of that. Or, this could be, like I said, someone that Tim was connected to is watching this situation or wanting to watch. Jay changes his mind, sets boundaries and says, yeah, I'm not really with that. This not, that's not the type of connection we have. Sneaky bastard. <laughs> There are boundaries in this connection. May have tried to walk away or close the door in this situation. But it's like, but I love you. Deep emotions connected here. You are my wish fulfillment. Okay. That's interesting. But there's a clash. And often when this king of wands comes up, this is an energy of egos clashing. Right? Like, how dare you not want what I want? We both want to do things, but let's do it my way. Okay? So then we have here this energy of loss. This energy of sadness here. 
as well as the magician card. So somebody either manifested this, created this, or is contemplating trying to <laughs> manipulate a situation. Okay. So let me clarify the magician card. Well, both of them. When I see the magician in situations or case case readings like this, it's often like, okay, somebody doing some tricky shit. Okay. Clarifying the five of cups as well as the magician. Yeah. Because we're not on the same page. Yeah. Someone is definitely someone. Tim is definitely sad about that. They may be judging themselves, the situation here, definitely causing anxiety. I'm trying to figure out either why they feel the way that they feel, why they want what they want, but also, yeah, wanting justice and the energy of revenge. So, yeah, how am I going to defend myself? I feel like Tim Tim got confrontational after that. Okay. Because here we have someone wanting to work on it. This energy of revenge, that five of swords energy, going back and forth about it. But the situation is handled. It's addressed, right? Through this energy of either defense. So you're either defending yourself in a situation... Or someone takes a defensive stance. Okay, but look. Definitely an energy of confrontation. Somebody feeling the need to protect themselves from something or someone. And then... Yeah, the situation is stops. Like, okay, we're not going to be able to move forward here at all. But I feel like uh, he may have attempted to manipulate the situation with kind, loving words. But there was deception, dishonesty, sneaky energy behind that. Okay. Spirit clarifying this magician. So I feel like the magician... Hold on, let me see before I say that. Yeah. Someone's heartbroken that this reconciliation is not going to work out. It's not coming into fruition. There's an in that three of swords, sadness, loss. Yeah, so the magician, I feel like, is someone trying to make a situation disappear. Okay? Because we have this emperor feeling overwhelmed here. Feeling overwhelmed. So this could be someone being taken over. We have the Eight of Cups and the Nine of Swords. So someone walked away or someone either, this card can be a card of abandonment. You see the dark energy around this card. Someone could be, have been left somewhere. This is someone wanting to handle this situation because it's causing them anxiety, stress, because somebody tried to walk away or is trying to leave. So there may have been payment exchanged or someone tried to pay or wanted to or offered to pay. But or that was the deal in the first place. But with this seven of swords energy, this is a card of deception, deceit, thievery, lies. And then we talked about this card yesterday. Someone wanting to have the upper hand, kind of control the situation. I say yesterday, whenever I did Jimmy's reading. 
Yeah, like, let me make sure this person doesn't talk. Mm. And there it is. And a new start, okay? So someone allowed their, tempta their temptation, their ego, their attachment to something taboo to get the best of them. And then, yeah, there was a message. This could have been, okay, we just, we just going to be friends with benefits, right? Someone's, and Timothy's like, oh, I see. I feel like that's an energy of, of unhappiness, right? With that, with that feeling of rejection. definitely an energy of revenge okay and I don't even feel like this was threatened to be exposed I feel like this is just straight up rejection we don't want the same thing so I feel like <clears throat> Timothy addressed this situation in a reactive way. Yeah. And that led to contemplation. Like what am I going to do about this situation? Keep this from coming out. <clears throat> yeah. Clarify this three of coins. I feel like Timothy reached out to someone. Somebody knew that this had occurred. Somebody was disappointed in the situation. There's a feminine here again. Queen of Cups energy. Who is disappointed. Who either may have been hiding. Or um, this could be his reaction. Definitely an energy of guard. Also of confrontation with that Knight of Swords energy. Maybe hiding from that Knight of Swords. Hiding from the police kind of energy. Because that Knight of Swords can also be authorities. But with the three of coins here, it's like, okay, I clarify the three of coins with this uh, queen of cups and the five of cups. So there's a feminine here who's disappointed in the way this situation's played out or someone who has a feminine energy, but they are yeah it's like, do I move on or do I confront? So there was a choice made, and I feel like there was confrontation here. Evil planning and strategizing. Yep. Okay, and that feminine keeps showing up, so I don't know if that's Tim. But definitely an energy of sadness, of loss, of confrontation here. Okay. And this was a choice, okay? This was an ego choice. This was an ego choice. All right? I'm getting mad. I don't want to be mad. So I feel like there was deep contemplation about what to do next. With that hermit card energy. It's a card of reflection. Trying to make a wise decision here. Let me clarify the hermit.
Yeah. So this person was in this energy of distress, of stress, feeling rejected, ego bruised, fixed the situation, and now good. That took care of itself. Or this could be a relationship having ended. This person, yeah. This rejection. Yeah, a relationship ended. Well, now I can go back and talk to Tim kind of energy. I wanted to fix our connection. I wanted to reconcile with this person. Fix something from the past. But my family will judge me or judge this situation here. Because you have the judgment card and the family card. Okay. But I think I love this person. Offer payment. Or should I offer payment or give my energy to this person? I feel like this is in a situation of unrequited love here. Yeah, because then we were not on the same page. And I do not like that you're saying that to me. Okay? Someone was feeling rejected, for sure. Okay. Definitely an energy of passion with the Ace of Wands. Conflict, fighting, or just, yeah, just taking offense. And in this pursuit, something catastrophic happened. Yeah. This did not go the way that I planned. Now we're bumping heads. And I gotta be, I gotta put on this air of confidence. Okay. Child. They, def they definitely got the right one. I'm gonna say that. There is some confusion around the story, but I I assure you that Jay did not create this confrontation. Okay. Um I and there may be a third party feminine again. Um but Jay did not create this confrontation. Clarifying this two of wands. And this is ultimately all about ego. Either ego in rejection or attachment to image, which is also ego. Like uh, people can't find out about this. Or, oh, you don't want people to know you deal with me. I have this, this, and this, right? But I feel like this is attachment to image. And then you rejected me. So yeah, this is something that didn't go as Tim had planned for it to go initially. Because someone was like, yeah, no, I don't want this. This is not what I want to do. This is not what I do.
Yeah. So it's really a rejection of the emotion behind it. So someone may have felt they had tried to be vulnerable in this situation and come at the connection from an emotional standpoint. And they were hurt. They were offended by that. But there's two of wands. And here's that queen of pentacles again. Uh-huh. The hierophant. That's that energy of tradition, religion. I feel like somebody helped him clean this up. Okay. The sun card. He had to either reveal it. Or it was revealed or shown to someone. This situation was illuminated. It could be um, a result of the, the cops coming in. The arrest that was ultimately made through the warrants. Or this could be someone. Ha mm -hmm. Having help. Mm-hmm. To to fix it. Okay. Oh yeah. Yep, and then we're gonna put put our brave face on, keep it moving. Okay, so someone may have helped him hide Jay or Jay's body or move it in some way. Okay, someone helped him clean this up. Clarifying that. Ooh. Major energy of con mm -hmm. conflict and confusion. Because now I feel like this is out. And yeah, someone feels like this is the end of the world. So let me tell you guys about my dream. Yeah, with the justice card. They may be hoping for... To prevail or just confused about needing to tell their truth here and I feel like they either did or they will I say someone we talk about 10 they either did or they will and they have family support at this time but this person's life has changed. Like the good parts. It feels like it's over. Okay. Definitely going to take a lot of work to defend this person. A lot of work and money to defend this situation. These actions. Definitely some regretful, remorseful energy here. Um, he may be thinking about... Ending it all. Suicide. For sure. Yeah. I told the police that as well. This person may be thinking about taking himself out of there. Okay. So let me tell you about my dream real quick. Well, in my dream, the part that I really remember... You know how in the movies, when the police want, well, hell, they do it in real life too. When the police want to show up at different people's houses, different suspects' houses, um, but at the same time, so they don't have time to contact them and say, okay, the police just got here, right? In my, in my dream, it was like kick doors, right? It was like the police knocking doors down. Boom, boom, boom. Like they struck struck on three different people at the same time. Okay? So you don't have time to call this person or that person to warn them. We here to get you. We here to get you. We here to get you. But these were like well off people. They were wealthy. Um they were I don't want to say prominent Definitely black, because that caught my eye. I'm like, what is this black movie? Oh, I literally woke up like that. What is this black movie? Like, that was good. That was interesting. Right? But they, in, they, yeah. So I feel like there are some people who knew that this went down immediately after this went down. I feel like there was some assistance in 
covering this situation up or helping Jay to hide the body. Um, definitely, I had said I was going to be one and done, right? Um, definitely going to be following this case pretty closely because there should be a lot coming out around this case. Um, yeah, definitely some people besides Tim who are going to go down behind this case, perhaps just for helping to hide, hide the body, helping to cover up a murder, but there's definitely some people who may or may not be in his family, could just be friends. But they know. They know and they knew. And they may have helped him dispose. Uh, but the police going to kick in some doors. Alright. Yeah, that was my dream. Woohoo! Goosey's just lit up right there. Yeah. So I hope this was helpful, guys. Um, he probably need to be on suicide watch. Because he is devastated that this played out the way that it's playing out. Um... Yeah, I'm going to leave it there. Hope this was helpful.